Hey, I'm John Greaves III. I'm the founder of Garage Gym Life, but what you don't know is I am not at my own house. Instead, I am joining Chris and Meg here in their awesome garage gym, and they're gonna give me a full tour right after this. Hey, I don't want you to just watch this video. I need you to like, subscribe, and if you're already a subscriber, I want you to join our channel for 99 cents a month so you can help us improve YouTube for the home gym community. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so here we are. Thank you again for having me in your home. Oh, our I, pleasure. Love, I love this garage gym, and we're gonna start with the centerpiece here, which is your rack. Walk me through this. The first thing that jumped out to me was these, all right? And you said that the company that makes these isn't even in business anymore. Nope, nope. It's a uh, Kohola Iron? Yes, Kohola Iron. Yep, I ordered them, and it took about six months to fabricate them, and they finally came out, and, and I love them because I used to have these, uh, these monolith attachments on the outside here, right. and I would, uh, I'm a real wide grip yep. squatter, and I'd always pinch my fingers, and I have scars on my inside of my webbing in my hands because I would pinch them when I'd re-rack. Right. So this offset arms enables me to, you know, still hold so a wide. So you like outside another, in, yeah, yeah, so and now it's inside. Made. It's just like, just how like, how like the in competition. I say, all right, you know, put it in, gotcha. and I, I got these monolith attachments because I, I, I competed ten times in the USPA raw. But uh, now I compete in multiply and unlimited gear, right. and I just didn't. I never wanted to walk out of squat again. Yeah. You know, I think the USPA Georgia meet uh, was the last time I walked out of squat. Oh wow! Okay. And I said, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm just going to stand up and then squat because squat's my best event. Okay. I squat at 905 in competition, and so yeah, with these things, oh, it just replicates exactly competition uh, how it is there, and and I love it. And Megan, uh, she always tells me, okay, you know, you know, to re rack it, yeah. you know, because sometimes I'll miss it, and then luckily I have these. Uh, are these these are safety spot, straps. Are these spud straps? Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So when I uh you know fall down and I, I fail a lot of lifts, I don't post the ones I fail too often. <laughs> but when I do, that's nobody's business. No, no. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like these spud straps, I recognize them right away. I've seen. I've been in so many gyms where uh, some of them home gyms, some of them public gyms, and anywhere you see a lot of power lifters, so you know there's going to be a lot of weight on the bar. Uh -huh. You always see these spud safety straps. Yeah, and they're rated for like ten thousand pounds. I mean, or they something, will so. last forever. They, you know, I know yeah. that you can probably go get cargo straps and make up something from Home Depot. Yeah. But I wouldn't even do that because yeah, you got to go with the best. I've so. seen these catch eight hundred pounds. <laughs> oh yeah, and they were fine. And yeah, I say, dropped a thousand keep them on here safe. and no problem at all. Oh heck yeah, because when you lose it, like <laughs> you forget, like the bar's still on your back. Oh yeah, yeah. So you fall and I go launching into the reverse hyper. <laughs> yeah, the bar catches right here. You're underneath it in a compromised position. Yep. So this is not an option. Yeah, this is a really solid. Yeah, maybe got nine one one on a uh, speed dial just in case. Dial the nine yeah. and one in their weight. But it's kind of cool because we use these spud attachments, and then uh, when we'll put it in the middle here, they will use like, like TRX. Yeah. yeah okay. So instead of buying a TRX, we just use these, and we use these little handles all the time. I do all my accessory work okay. with the spud. Uh, you know, all their equipment there. I got a set of these at the house right now. Yeah, I like these. <laughs> oh, they're really it. they're really comfortable in your hand. The yeah, they are. Like, they're, they're sturdy, but mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, like, the edges can be a little bit hard. Yep. And, you know, that sounds like some pansy to say there, right? You like, which, no, because it'll like, have you wrong. Exactly. Yeah. You're like, no, it's like, I'm going to be year. thinking about that. It's like, yeah, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they've got that perfect worn-in feel, but they're still not going to, you know, they're not going to wear away. They're not, you see, like, how long have you guys had these? Oh shoot, probably two years now. Yeah, you see there's no tearing, there's nothing. Nothing, like they don't last forever. These will last forever. And you yeah. can even put your hands in them. And I, I've created all different variations, you know, to, to do different things with nice. it. So yeah, we, we're really big on bands and chains and all the conjugate kind of system, accommodating resistance stuff, which that's how we train here. Now, where'd you get the rack itself? So the rack I bought from Elite FTS back in 2010. Shout out Dave Tate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know, it was pretty expensive at the time. My ex-wife was like, I can't believe you're spending so much money on something you're probably never going to use, <laughs> you know, four times a week for 12 years now, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah. I'm not on deployment. So yeah, this thing is like really bulletproof and I can keep over a thousand pounds of uh, plates on it Nice, and I love it. So, you know, little by little, I started putting all my stickers up there, you know, from all the different brands and companies I want to support. And So these are the two stickers that jump out to be the, the most, okay? <laughs> so let's I know the one. The, all right. Surprisingly, first of all, that. All right, he said the companies and brands he wants to support. Right, uh, like that's our right. favorite food right there. I hear you. All right, and then of course I appreciate your support, man. Oh, that, always, yeah. I saw that. I saw, oh, you got that from our site. Yeah. Because you are competing in a federation where they use a monolift. Yep. How? Why not just get a monolift? Well, I, I kind of like this one because then I can bench out of it. You okay. know, I use these little safety bars and I can bench. I'll move these uh, attachments over here and then I don't need a lift off. 
Right. So like I can just lift it off and it swings out of the way and I can touch. She yells, you know, press. And yeah. then it's perfect. And then I can squat in it also. And so I'll use these blocks and I can lift from the floor up to 10 inches for block pools. And that's right. what I really need to work on. And then like the next week, six inch, four inch, two inch. And in the competition time, I'm lifting from the floor and I'm just dominating. I always say that the best way to build a relationship, if you are a lifter, is just lift with your spouse. Exactly, Especially yeah. when it's time to spot you on the bench, <laughs> yeah. right? Because that will that will right there bond you guys. You'll learn how each other thinks and everything else. When I come out of a lift and I'm just like, you know, I can't talk to her for like 10 seconds because I'm yeah, just yeah. so hyped up. And I'm like, you know, she'll, she'll know, it's like, okay, give him a little bit. Yeah. And then be like, great job, you know, because like, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. so hyped. But when there's 900 pounds, 1,000 pounds sometimes on his back, maybe he'll have a band on, but it's if I don't tell him that that bar is in back racked up, like it will it will drop. He right. will get injured. It's a lot of trust that yeah. he puts in me, and which I appreciate. Yeah, and I can't lift heavy without her anymore. So even at like oh, meets, wow. you know, she'll be right there, you know, and telling me stuff. And so you handle him at the meets as well. Yeah, she's yeah. really taking me to like a next level, oh, wow. you know, in lifting because b before it was just me, yeah. and I would go to meets alone, you know, and now she goes to every meet with me. And she's up there taking pictures and videos and, you know, getting me in the right mindset before I go up there and helping me wrap my knees and telling me, hey, you know, just holding my ammonia <laughs> and everything's cool, smash ammonia. And, you know, uh, All right, Megan, so this is a rowing machine. I know that's a shocker to people. <laughs> but the one thing that I noticed as soon as I started looking at it is there's nothing to do while you're on this thing, right? No. So my rower at the house, we always set it up in front of the TV so that we can watch something yeah. because this is Boring. No, it is kind of an exercise in mental toughness for me okay. to stay t committed to my goal if I want to row 2,000 meters or whatever, and I okay. want to get off. After do you say calorie goals meter. or do you do by meters? Meters. Okay. So time goals. So okay. um, I've kind of worked out with a fitness watch how kind of my calorie burn per distance. Okay. So now I'm just on distances. But okay. if I'm in here alone, then I will listen to a podcast in my AirPods, okay. which really does help. Otherwise, I use some visualization. I pretend that I'm like, on a college crew team and I have to row or I'm a Viking. We're a rowing gal. Oh, there Literally, you go. Yeah. It's like a Viking ship. We're in a sea battle. <laughs> yeah. Ramming speed. Okay, I got you. But you know, I'm not a runner. Running seems ultimately boring to me. People tell me it clears their head. Running does not clear my head. All it makes me focus on is how much I hate every step of yeah. running. So on this rower, I'm, I really do think to myself a lot of the time, at least I'm not running. No, well, okay. <laughs> there is an excellent point right there. A lot of wisdom in that. All right, so um, have you ever tried any of the um, uh, the races that they do? No, I haven't tried it. Okay. Yeah. But it's on the app, right? Yeah, it's so like Concept2 has, basically, they have indoor rowing mm -hmm. races, and you can compete with, I guess, people from around the world. And so, yeah, that's one of those indoor challenge things that you do <laughs> to try to make it to make it a little bit more interesting. Or I think that they also have like leaderboards where they can say, well, this is like, how fast can you get to this many meters in this much time or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I will look that stuff up and I will put it in the description, the link in the description for this video. So if anybody's got a concept two at home and they want to try out some of these challenges, you know, they'll hook you right up and you can go right there. I, I don't have an affiliate link or anything <laughs> like that. It's just gonna, it's just information I think yeah, would be helpful for you guys. That's great. Yeah. I'm very into I've spent a lot of time in New York and there's a lot of boutique fitness classes available there. So I took a rowing class once and it was the hardest fitness class I have ever oh, I taken yeah. ever hands down. Oh yeah. So, but I learned a lot from just going to the class once and I can employ those principles here right. and kind of emulate a class. Yeah. So I actually happen to think that the rowing machine is a great deadlift accessory because it's mm -hmm. almost the same movement. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're looking for just like a finisher at the end of deadlift day, I actually like using a rower for that. Yeah. Just like I like using the sled as a finisher for squats. You're in the military. Uh huh. You have access to the base gym with lifters all <laughs> over the place at the very least, right. if not other power lifters. Why do you choose to train in your garage? I feel like, you know, this is like my safe space, you know, like I've been to therapy before and they say, you know, like go to your place where you're most comfortable. And I said, oh, easy, my garage gym. And they're like, they're garage gym. I've never heard that before, you know? And I'm like, no, this is where I feel the best, you know? So I feel like, you know, I'm kind of like, I film everything and I post everything, but I feel really good here. And then when I get to a competition, it's like time to unleash it, right. you know? And, and I've invited a lot of my soldiers over here to train with me. And, you know, I say, hey, you, you're guaranteed to get a PR if you come to my gym. Yeah. And they're like, how? And I say, because I'm going to fire you up. Yeah. And so they'll come in here and they'll get a PR and then another guy will come in. And yeah, so I just love being 
like in this little gym, you know, this is like my spot. And I'll go to a public gym and it just, you know. You don't feel comfortable. No, I, I hate it. When I go to a competition, I've competed 22 times. You know, I just, I kind of like focus and zone in. I don't really talk to anybody, you know, it's just like me and Megan and we do our thing and then we leave. I think what? it's too like when you're in here and you're comfortable and it's just he and I, we can push ourselves in here because they're, we're not worried about anybody else. This is a reverse hyper. Um, tell me, what do you use it for and how have you seen it benefit you? I followed the West Side Barbell program of lifting for years. And they always talked about reverse hyper, Louis, you know, Louis Simmons reverse hyper. And I said, man, you know, is it worth it? I don't know, it's pretty expensive. And uh, I was having lower back issues mm -hmm. all the time, you know, posterior chain and all that. And there's a God okay. of Iron Pro Gym here in Columbus, okay. and they had one. And so I, I went up to the front desk and I said, hey, can I just use this really quick? I just want to try it out. They said, that's $20 for a day pass. I said, man, I might as well work out here then, you know, for a day. So I went in there and I tried it. I said, I'm sold. You know, I did okay. a few sets of it. I didn't know how heavy I could really load it up. I put, you know, 50 pounds and it felt hard. But then I put like 300 pounds and it felt even better. Like it was like really working. Right. And so, yeah, the heavier you can go on a reverse hyper, the better. And I mean, it like lengthens your back and then strengthens it, your erectors. And right. It's a little too tall for her. So this pad right here, the edge of the pad is not comfortable for you? Mm -mm. And I have pretty short legs, to be fair. So by the time I can wrap my ankles into the strap, I'm cutting like right across my yeah. hips okay, okay. on here. So with him, his whole torso fits. Right. And so it's where the natural bend in his hips are. Right. But mine, I have to kind of perch and then balance on it. Mm -hmm. well, I use it for like, uh, you know, rows yeah. and I'll sit on it and use it for like quad extensions okay. and all that. So yeah, I, I get a lot of use out of this thing, even for like curls. So I'll, I'll do this thing every deadlift and squat day. And uh, I haven't been injured since. And I used to be injured, my back used, you know, I used to seize up all the time and ever since I've used this, it, it doesn't anymore, so. I don't have injuries, back injuries, hip stuff like that. I've been doing Pilates for probably almost 10 years. So I try to incorporate some Pilates stuff with him. So you guys started training together, you probably noticed immediately, hey, there's some things that this guy should be doing that he's <laughs> not doing. Yeah. And so how do you get him to do the stuff that he doesn't like doing, but you know he should do? So um, I have been in California where we're from, staying with family for a while and I had a friend from high school that has a gym right so and I was training with him but I came back and I told him I can do a three minute plank and he's like you can I said yeah so I planked for three minutes and then I got him to challenge me okay so now he's doing more <laughs> planks okay more yeah. core so that's kind of the way you know make it a challenge we make things really fun so yeah she's invited you know, me to Pilates a couple yeah, times he's coming and and you've gone how many times have you gone twice uh, twice okay. <laughs> That, that just those kind of exercises that incorporate more movement yeah. have been kind of things that I've shown him that we do together. What's one piece of equipment that you wish you guys had, either one of you? And it doesn't have to be the same thing. What, like My dream is, a, yeah, my like wish list is a reformer. Okay. Now she knows what she's getting for Christmas. Oh, there you go. <laughs> she says it's too expensive to buy it, but I'm definitely buying her one. Right. And yeah. what, what do you want? What are you looking for? <laughs> I think I got everything I need now. Yeah, I really enjoy like everything I have here. What does it do for you though to train here with him and to see him as he's pushing towards goals, even as you're pushing towards your own goals? Yeah, um, well, I think working out is pretty natural for me. I've always been pretty into fitness, um, but working out with Christopher has been so different because he has, I think powerlifting is a totally different mindset, right? The strength. And so he's taught me so many different things that he has learned. Um, it's also really been, <laughs> it is challenging, right? As being in a relationship, it gets very intense in here. It was a Christmas gift that Megan got me because I was trying to do different variations of belt squat, you know, hanging it, you know, with my iron mind, kind of like uh, the I know my hand, harness. Yeah, and just trying to like do different, I was okay, like, yeah, I yeah. just need a belt squat machine. Yeah. And then, you know, Christmas, Santa came, and <laughs> Ma Megan Santa, she delivered this. And okay. But these things have become a lot more popular in recent years, ever since Matt Winning came out with the original one, and so now there are different variations of them. And people typically that I've spoken to will buy it based upon how each one feels to them, mm -hmm. right? Um, which is what I think you should do. You pick the one that fits you the best because it's going in your home gym and that's what part of what makes it the best gym in town. It's that's customized right. to you. Well, I think the Titan is really good because it's affordable and uh, you know, you can load it up as, as heavy as you want. It loads up to a thousand pounds, okay. which I haven't gotten up to yet. I use it, you know, every lower body uh, workout, deadlift and squat day and it really takes the pressure off like so my this is back. Like, so you, I don't know how often you squat and deadlift. 
Do you do, do you squat and deadlift in the same week or do you do a squat yeah. and deadlift all Yeah, weeks? I'll squat on uh, Monday and I'll deadlift on Friday and okay. then I'll bench on Wednesday. And, okay, and so then do, you're, right? uh, and so you're using this twice a week? Twice a week, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. okay. Yeah, okay. usually like four sets and I do like 10 reps of it and I'll go up to maybe like 350, 400, I've gone 500 pounds for, for 10 reps with this thing and oh, it just gives, you, I mean the size of my legs and the strength of my legs has just gone you know way up using this thing and I don't get injured with my back. Mm -hmm. And so, so I really, I really like the bell squat machine. Okay, okay. If there was anything you could change about it, what would it be? It kind of takes up a big footprint in the garage gym, but yeah. it kind of keeps my horse stall mats together. So yeah, I like that yeah. part. Yeah. Tell me about this space here that you guys have. Yeah, so we had the pool in the backyard and we liked that, but we wanted a jacuzzi. So I told Meg, oh, I want like a stand-up jacuzzi. And she's like, why don't, you know, my friend has this blow-up one. You can get off Amazon for like, you know, $650. Why don't we try that? I'm like, but you sit on the ground? And she's like, no, it's good. And this thing is solid. You can like sit on it. Okay. Like we keep it at 104 degrees at all times. Okay. And after each workout, we'll come out here and we'll sit in here for about, you know, 20 minutes or so. We got a TV set up, okay. so we watching TV, you know, just kind of like the recovery process. So you do like the hot, cold thing, so like you get in the pool for mm -hmm. cold? I do, she out, doesn't get, get in the, the cold, yeah. Listen, sometimes I, in the summertime, yeah, like the I go in the pool, yeah. Okay. Yeah, contrast shower, you know, just same old thing. I'll jump in the pool, come in here, okay. jump in the back in the pool, come back in here, and okay. oh, we love it, yeah, so. You know, it can fit like four people in there, you know, but it's just me and her you yeah, know, normally. Yeah. So, but yeah. that makes a big deal because people don't think about it, especially as you start getting the heavier and heavier weights. Right. Your joints need that break because if you can't recover, yep. you can't train again. You can't train often. Mm -hmm. You can't get stronger. You can't get stronger. You can't win competition. And so if anybody's considering purchasing one of these, we were both kind of hesitant. I had seen one at a friend of mine's house, but they're heavy duty. It's been two years. You know how Georgia is. There's rainstorms, yeah. hot, cold weather. We also have turned it off when we've been out of town for a majority of the month, and we don't notice a difference in our power bill when we have it on and when we don't have it. Yeah, so it's so, 110 so. volt. Now, is it hard to keep clean? No. No. We it, drop one chlorine tablet in there, like, you know, every three days or so, and it's just it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice, not yeah, bad at Super all. clear yeah. water, really yeah. good. All right, Chris, Megan, thank you so much for this tour, for having me in your home. I really enjoy checking out your garage. Jim, I'm about to head out, but before I do, tell everybody how they can keep up with your training, where they can follow you on social media, including your Instagram, so they can see all the torture you put yourself through <laughs> with the Pilates and everything else. Right, yeah, if you want to see the strongest and the coolest couple, you know, on Instagram, go to Young Strong Powerlifting, and you can see, uh, you know, four times a week, you'll see me and Meg training working hard together, you know, and then uh, you can go to youngstrongpowerlifting.com and see all our sponsored brands, Animal Iron, Rebel School Smash, Ammonia, among many others.